323-237-8931 for more information. Once again, that's 323-237-8931. Let's get Bad Girls Club Season 4 star flow on the line. Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and Famous, where we spend fresh music and interview famous artists. Right now, we have a very, very bad girl. You've seen her on Bad Girls Club Season 4. She's our second pick for tonight's radio show, and maybe all minds after. Give it up for the singer, the fighter, the only. Flo, what's the deal? What up, Hazel? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? How, how was your Mother's Day? Great. I actually just came back from the carnival with my daughter and had a good time, you know? Enjoy my Mother's Day, you know? Aww. Aww. How, how old is your daughter? Uh, ten months. Oh, <laughs> you should you should you should give her a kiss for uh for all of us right here for your fans and for JL. Give her a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I will. Uh, I definitely did. I gave her a million kisses today. You guys got it. I got you already. Don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, Flo, here's something that we all wanted to know. Let's just get straight to the point. Um, we we had a lot of listeners who want to know: Are you a fan of the new Bad Girls Club now, like season eight, season nine, which is coming out? Are you a, are you a fan of I, it? I get qu- uh, asked that question a lot, and, uh, you know, to say no would be wrong, because obviously I'm a part of that show, um, but I will be completely honest, um, I don't watch it, mm-hmm. I don't like it, I don't like the way these girls act, and I don't like all that jumping and all that stuff, I'm not, I can't I can't watch it, you know what I'm saying, I'm not a fan, I would say, you know, I still keep up with it, I'll ask people what's going on and stuff, but I, as far as to watch it every week, I don't, because... I just, I feel like it went another direction, you know, it became like, it's almost like evil girls now, it's not even bad girls club anymore, it's like evil, you know, fucked up people, like, <laughs> fucked up. Well, at least, at least, at least, we still know that um, Flo is keeping it real, keeping it one hundred as usual. This is what I heard through the grapevine. I heard that you're making a new single for because um, you're singing. So I heard that you're making a new single soon. Is, is this true? Yeah, well, I was, I'm in the works with Dylan right now. I mean, I like reggae music a lot, so I have a reggae song that I've been wanting to put out. But I'm just looking for the right person to be on the track because I'm not, you know, everything that I put out so far. It's on YouTube and stuff, and, you know, it's, it's homemade stuff. It's stuff I did when I was, you know, whatever, chilling, mm-hmm. smoking a bar. I was younger. I was going to the studio just having fun. Now I'm, I'm putting anything out. I want it to sound good. I want people to know that I can sing, and it's not, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not auto-tuned or nothing like that, because I put out stuff before where people can tell I can sing. They know I have a nice voice, but, you know, I just want, if I'm going to put anything out now, it's going to be perfect. I'm not going to just put out just anything, so... If that happens, it's going to happen when um, everything else is happening. I can't really talk about what's going on in my life right now, but I can say that um, I'm in the works with, you know, trying to get a show and all this other stuff, writing a book and all that. So all that's in the works right now. Like I said, I can't say too much about it, but, you know, what's meant to be will be, and I'm pretty sure that God has a, a, a goal for me in life, and that, that goal is for me to stay on TV and, and keep being a, a, a motivational person and a person who's going to be real and just a... Uh, you know, I want to help people as well as just, you know, I mean, not just be on TV for no reason, shopping right. and getting my nails done on TV. I want to do stuff that's uh, at home with people and that people can relate to, you know what I'm saying? Because I go through a lot of the things that everyday women go through. I'm not just some L.A. girl with shops and dates guys. And, you know what I'm saying? I go mm-hmm. through real life problems that everybody can relate to. So that's what my next goal is to go in that direction. So hopefully everything works out. Nice, nice, nice. And I think I think once that single comes out, like you should you should put me on there. I'll tell you why after this last question that we have. Um, and this question is. Oh, I got it. That that's something that you're oh, gonna no, know about okay. soon. <laughs> Definitely. I think I think you know what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna spit it for the listeners out there. You know, and give them a little teaser of what jail is about. You know, but we'll do that All later. Right. <laughs> Let's knock out this interview. So how, how did it feel? Because. I, I was looking at your interviews and the blogs and everything, and it's and I read that you were a bounty hunter, you know, back in the day. How did how did it feel, you know, being like that? Because like I've never ran, I never talked to an actual bounty hunter. So how did it feel doing that? <laughs> I was it was good. It was good, you know. Um, I like I did it for like four or five months. You know, I I kind of stopped doing it because um, any any real bad girl doesn't really like to lock people up. Like that's not my style. I don't call the cops on people. I don't like to get people locked up. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I did it for a little while, and I was the kind of bounty hunter who was, I was mostly, like, the getaway car, and, like, oh, you know, 10-4, they're, the, they're in the back right now, they're, they're coming out the back window, and stuff like that, but there will be times when I would um, pick up a, a pick up in the cell and, and, and tell them and be like, and, or, I would, or I would text them and be like, yo, they're looking for you, run, you know what I'm saying, go, mm-hmm. like, go far away, like, and, and, you know, as a bounty hunter, your job is to get those people so you can make money off it, but I didn't like to do that, because I didn't like to lot of people up, so I did it for a little while. 
it was fun, you know what I'm saying? I kicked some doors in and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I couldn't do it anymore because I didn't like locking people up. I did not like that's the part that I didn't like about it. Uh. People in jail. There was people out there who were hustling, making money because their kids didn't have money and eating stuff like that. When I would find that out, it'd be like, yo, just want You know, it's coming to get your go, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's not a doubt for me. But it was fun and I loved it. And it was hard work, you know. It's, it's tough. It's not easy to be a bounty hunter. You've got to deal with a lot of uh, dangerous situations, you All know. Right down because i'm a bad girl so whatever <laughs> <laughs> love it love it we love it we love it okay so we got we got a uh, flow right here on fresh and famous with jl only on fresh and so all of these questions that i asked you know from the from the from the singing to the to the uh bounty hunter to all that bad girl stuff here's what here's what the listeners want to hear and this is a small little freestyle for you i named it uh flow here's a let me spit a flow uh for flow that's what i called it let's go it here we go so um <clears throat> you ready to hear this you sure you ready I'm ready, bro. I got bars for days. Here we go. What up to New York? Here we go. <clears throat> Let me kick a flow like the fake Florina. There's only one flow. You can't turn her like Tina. Flow's, flow's flow is real nasty. Too nasty like Trina. So drop it down low to the flow like drinking pina colada. You got a lot of followers on Twitter. Give your baby the world like Tanisha's the babysitter. Whenever your new single is out, call it heavy flow spitter. From the west to the east, we some go get us. Easy, right there. Oh, <laughs> no, fine now, nice, nice. So, so I, I spit you that. You know that was that was strictly for you. So nobody can take this, and we're gonna add an instrumental to awesome. it later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here's what I want to return, Flo. What I need, I need you to do two things, all right? So I'm turning 21 in August, so I want you to call Fresh and Famous, uh, and you know, sing Happy Birthday to me on my birthday. So. I'll let you know what's going on on that. And then also, when we close it out, what I need you to do now is give out your um, information on where we can hit you up at, if we want to keep in touch with you, talk with you, because we all love you. Like I said, it's your girl Flo. I'm with J-O. And uh, you guys can hit me up on my Twitter at FloBTC or my Facebook, Florina Kaya at um, Florina, actually Florina Bad Girls Club. And then my Gmail, if you need bookings or hostings or anything like that, it's FlorinaKaya at gmail.com. Lorena Kaya at gmail.com. Hit me up. It's summertime's coming up. I got a lot of stuff coming up. You guys see me in your area, in your state. So look out for me. I'll be there. I love you guys. And please stay tuned to this radio station and listen to my boy, J.O. He's the man. <laughs> and tune in because this is the uh, the Kanye West and Jay Z part two. We're gonna call this J O and Flow collaboration coming soon. <laughs> we love you. We love. I love you guys. And, and stay tuned. Like I said, you know, just go to my Twitter app. Well, because you know what state I'm gonna be in next and where I'm gonna be hosting and all that stuff. So Let's do it. Keep it tuned, all right? Let's do it. We're gonna talk to you later, okay? Fresh and famous. We spend fresh music and interview famous artists. If you were on Bad Girls Club for one season, which season would you be on? Tony in Fairfax, California said, I would want to be on season nine. Never been to Mexico. Plus, I'm li- licking icing off all of those sexy mamacitas. Tony, are you a guy or a girl? <laughs> Jenny in Seattle said, I'd create my own bad girls club in Seattle and fight day and night. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and